<clears throat> a few years ago, a neighbor's tree, got a, it was infested with carpenter rats and it had to come down. So uh, I helped him cut it, cut it down. And obviously we had to get rid of the carpenter rats and there were quite a few, but that, that we did that successfully. I took some of the w uh, wood and I stacked it uh, behind my drying shed uh, on the ground and I wanted to see how the spalting would take place with the uh, maple. And about um, nine months ago, I guess, eight, maybe eight months ago, I decided to start turning some um, maple bowls and check how the uh, process was coming. So when you take green, green wood, you naturally turn it and get most of the inside out and then let it dry for a few months. So this weekend, I decided to uh, get back to some of these bowls and um, turn them and finish them. Um, the same, the same storyline goes with this cherry log. It was again, another neighbor this one happened to be across the street. He asked me to help him remove some of the cherry. Um, the, the cherries came down only about a year ago, so it's not spalted. But uh, looking at this bowl, because of the beauty of the wood, I especially like this one. It's very interesting. And it was a lot of fun to do, and it didn't take very long to, to turn. So we'll move these. Same thing with this cherry uh, bowl. So I think uh, since it's a neighbor from across the street, I think I'll um, give him this bowl to tell him, uh, to show him how his small cherry tree turned out. This is another um, cherry uh, bowl. Again, I don't know if this was from the same tree across the neighbor. There was another cherry tree that had come down and uh, I also had the cherry for that tree. And fi finally of the four balls I turned over the weekend, this is uh, a little, uh, another little maple, spalted maple. Um, I feel when I'm, when I'm turning, I feel like I'm playing hooky. I should be working on my furniture, but turning on the lathe is, is a blast. It's a lot of fun. <laughs>